Well, it's late on Thursday afternoon, the first unofficial day of the Warburg Show, as I'm now going to be calling it, down here at SMAC, Southern Minnesota Model Aircraft Club. We got quite a few planes already out on display today. Uh, I already missed some of the big ones that the guys got put away, but I figured I'd give you a little look at the first unofficial day. I'll hopefully get one of these done on Friday and Saturday so you can see the diversity of planes that show up from day to day. we got a little bit of everything down here so far. Turbines going up. we got lots of trailers full of airplanes here. Lots of people camping on site. The other walkthroughs I probably won't talk as much on because People look at me funny when I'm talking to the camera, but I really like this B-25 here. <laughs> Miss B Haven. Working on a Lancaster over there. Electric Lancaster. Had a little mishap earlier, I got that on film. See, they still need to have everything all set up for tomorrow. A lot of that will get done early morning tomorrow. So the winds don't buzz her away tonight. But we got a whole lot more of those videos going on. And I'm going to stop about midfield here because down there we got... There's an F-16 down there and two F-84s. And that's about it. Pretty much everybody's got their stuff put away. Like I said, it's late on Thursday. But I'll do a couple more walkthroughs for you. Maybe I'll put them all together on one. So this is boring, sorry, but give a chance people or give people a chance to see all the nice warbirds come out of Smack. Alright everybody, I'm out here at Smack again. Today is the Saturday walkthrough. I did not do a walkthrough yesterday because of the weather. Everybody was keeping their planes pretty much put away and just pulling them out to fly so it wouldn't have been much of a walk through anyways but we're out here at the warbird show and there are all kinds of people in planes here give you a little preview <laughs> I've noticed in some of my last walkthroughs you guys can hear me breathing so I'm trying to hold the camera farther away from me so but it is hot out here so if you hear me breathing tough got some video of this guy going up earlier video of the Sea Fury, so check out my channel if you want to see that. I believe I have this Douglas dive bomber on film. C-51 Mustang, I got some video of that one. That went up yesterday, I didn't get any video of it yet. Hoping to get some either today or tomorrow. All right, picking back up with the walkthrough. Ran into somebody I had to sit and BS with for a second. So. The 
really got some gorgeous plains down here. If you guys are within a five, six hour drive of Minnesota, it is worth your drive to come down to this event here at Smash. Yeah, people all over the place, airplanes all over the place. Big quality airplanes. I've never seen airplanes like this anywhere else. I've heard about shows in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, and a couple other places. I don't know, it might not be Wisconsin, Fond du Lac. But, uh, said if this one's pretty, or that one's next weekend, I won't be able to make it to that because it's five hours away. But, got Cal's airplane, airplanes here. How big is that one? The B24 and the B17. I got a video of the B17 on my channel. I got video of this A4 and this D8. There's the trophies you can win. The best in the show. And Jet, World War One, World War Two. Lots of good trophies that they put out. So we got quite a line of guys wanting to fly. Quite a few people out in the field now. Scott's been working on his 86 all weekend and hasn't been having too much luck with it. Now, like my 2009 walkthrough, it is not a BM 028, it is a B36 and it is gorgeous. I got some video of that flying. C119, I got some video of that flying as well. Actually, I'll have two videos of that at least. I just filmed this A-10 go up just a couple minutes ago. It was awesome. A lot of people. I should have a couple of videos of that. A bunch of B-17s down here. Oh, that one's a B-17. Cockpit looks too slow. Well, yeah, I guess it is. As you can see, there's the end of the line. And lots of people here. So next year, you want a good Warburg show, you come out to smack in Minnesota.